people you uh, the best housing, the safest environment that we can provide you here at Fort Hood. Fort Hood's command staff taking to Facebook to address comments and growing concern about family housing and barracks on post. The post has been under the microscope lately following a number of high profile soldier deaths and other incidents prompting even a change in top leadership in multiple investigations. Earlier this year, several families filed a federal lawsuit over deplorable conditions in housing on post, with some even falling ill. 25 News reporter Leah McNeil joins us now with the latest information. Leah. After a visit from a congressional delegation visiting Fort Hood back in September, command leaders are addressing the poor living conditions in the barracks and family housing here on post. They say it's an ongoing process that will likely take years to fully address. Seen the worst barracks I think I've ever seen in my life. They shouldn't be having to worry about whether or not their housing is safe and secure, whether there's mold growing in their housing. I never want to hear from another young mom like we did today that the black mold had even permeated her baby's crib's mattress. With claims of mold and dilapidated living conditions, Major General John Richardson says they're working to address the problems, but it'll take time. We all know the, the housing here at Fort, Ho Fort Hood is some of the oldest housing uh, in the Army, and that presents a challenge for, uh, for the chain of command and for our partners. Right now, about 972 stucco homes in Comanche 3, Montague and Coma villages are being renovated. The estimated duration of the project as of today is 18 months, but we're currently reviewing our options to increase that speed to reduce the inconvenience to our great residents. Project director for Fort Hood Family Housing, Chris Alba, says these homes were built between 2000 and 2006, but some barracks are much older. Uh, we recognize those barracks were built in the 1950s. They're in dire need of renovation. There are worse barracks, and we're working really hard to keep them livable until we can get them uh, into renovation. Brian Dosa, director of public works for Fort Hood, says the Army's facility investment plan over the next 10 years has funding allocated for renovations. Renovation uh, type funding is programming about $375 million to, to do those renovations over the next six years. So we're going to have to live with those hammerheads a little bit longer. Though it could be years before renovations are complete, Major General Richardson says they will work with Fort Hood residents to address concerns. And what we're committed to is compassion and responsiveness and trying to mitigate some of the challenges that we have as a larger plan over time is put into place. COVID-19 did pose a challenge with addressing maintenance requests, but the command staff says that backlog due to COVID has been addressed. They also say a new maintenance call center will kick off at the start of the new year. At Fort Hood, Leah McNeil, 25 News.